everybody, this is Renee Tomsack McCombs coming to you live from Fort Myers, Florida. <laughs> and today, what we're going to talk about is self-discipline. Do you have self-discipline? Everybody, follow me and let's find out. <laughs> Everybody. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you decided to stay with me. This is Renee Tomzak McCombs and today what we're going to talk about is self-discipline. So what is self-discipline all about anyway? Actually, it's what ties all the other efforts that we've been talking about together. A positive mental attitude, personal initiative, and controlled enthusiasm. Okay, so what else is self-discipline? Honestly, it's having the discipline, the focus, the determination, the desire, and the passion to do something when you really don't feel like it. We all have our days when life gets in the way, and that's okay. But what we have to do is push through those fears, push through the obstacles, push through the challenges, and focus. Use that self-discipline and focus it towards your goals, your dreams, and your desires. So in my opinion, what you need to have is willpower and a positive mental attitude in order to achieve the desired results of self-discipline. In Napoleon Hill's book, The Keys to Success, he does state that if you use willpower properly, you can get lifted to the height of any achievement that you so choose. But if you let it run wild, it can dash you to the rocks of failure. So everybody, basically, what we're talking about here is balancing emotion with reasoning equals self-discipline. Does that make sense to you? I, I completely get it and I understand it. Your emotions are the driving power and the driving forces behind everything that you do. So in order to make the positive choices that you need to, to succeed in either life or your business, exert that self-discipline. So when you really don't feel like doing something and life jumps in the way, push yourself to take that next step. Do something towards your goals, dreams, and desires because it pays off. Honestly, there's so many people out there that just really don't get it, really don't understand that in order to achieve a desired dream, goal, or desire, that you have to work for it. Everybody's looking for a handout. <laughs> we only have two hands. <laughs> My point being, in life there are no hands out. You have to work in order to gain success, in order to get ahead. Remember, when the doors of worry and fear and all that negative energy close, what you're able to do is let the positive energy flow in and open those doors of hope and faith, which are absolutely huge in a positive mental attitude, faith, hope, working hard, everything goes, like I said yesterday, <laughs> hand in hand. <laughs> so when it comes to discipline and self-discipline, if you're aiming to reach your goals and your dreams and your desires, then what you need to do is focus on that self-discipline mixed with the positive mental attitude because you can have self-discipline but you can be very angry about doing something and the anger equals negative thoughts actions and emotions and that's not going to get you where you need to go in order to create the success that you I know that you are looking for so everybody remember how important self-discipline is in your daily implementation of your action plan your goals your dreams and desires that's all I wanted to share with you today this is Renee Tomzak McCombs <laughs> coming to you live from Fort Myers Florida everybody create a great day because only you have the power to make that day a great day Mwah! Much love, everybody. <laughs>